Okay. I'm, I'll, Give me, um, I'll be down there in about five minutes, sir. Okay, perfect. Sorry. And it's, I'm, it's Marcel, right? Yeah, and sorry, what is your and name? My name is, it's Corporal Hall, H-A-L-L. Co Corporal Hall. And is it possible to have the watch commander available? Is he not around? Well, I'm acting in his position right now because oh. he's out of the office. So oh, yeah. okay, so it's, it's the same thing then, okay. Yeah, same thing. Okay. I'm one of the supervisors here. Perfect. I, I am Constable or Supervisor, so I will be down, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Constable Hall. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Holy smokes. Stuart Oh. Hi, Marcel. Oh. I mean, Officer Constable Hall. Corporal. Col Corporal. I'm sorry, I'm just going to record this for my own safety, That's totally if you don't fine mind. By me. Of course um, you're to do that. I can just put this, like, uh, something here. And so I'm hoping we can come to and alleviate this crazy situation here because um, it is out of hand obviously as you can uh, understand sorry okay. so what uh, what started this okay so 750 sorry um at 751 um i went outside uh, from a knocking at the door and i was just made some pizza and some lunch and, and so i was here today mm -hmm. a couple times today for the rally right yep. and um and then he i went outside on the back step and he's like give me i i, I want your id and um i want you to come outside and then at that point, I'm like, I shut the door and I'll talk to you through the window. Okay, so what can I do for you? Okay, do you have your ID is what I've asked you for? I, I don't need to give you ID. Okay, then I'll be towing your car. So, uh, I'll talk to you through the window. All right. I'm right here, hold on. I'm back. Well. So what's going on? I've asked you to meet me on the sidewalk. I'm definitely I'm not, not going to have a conversation through the window. Well, I your will. It's cool. currently towable, so I suggest you get it moved and get your front plate attached oh. and visible immediately. Oh, Otherwise, okay. I'll be towing you under that authority under the Motor Vehicle Act oh. of British Columbia. Okay, so what's the problem? I just told you. No, no. I mean, what's the real problem here? I've just told you. No, why are you hassling me? I'm not hassling you, sir. I'm just having some food here. I'm, You're not I'm, permitted to be here. You're over over state. Um, and then, so he was with two bylaw officers and I'm like, so what is this about? And he's like, you're not allowed to be parked here. And I just looked at my phone, 751. And I'm like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm allowed to be parked on the street. Um, I know we were, I'm not camping here. Mm. I was just here from the today. And, um, and then, you know, I'm like, just what is your badge number? And he refused to tell me who he was. And then I'm like, is this guy even a police officer? And I asked the, I asked the bylaw guys, do you know who this is? And they're like, no. I'm just having some food here. I'm, You're not I'm, permitted to be here. You're over over state. How, what's the stay on the street? There's a bylaw. And what is the hour I can park on the street? What's that? What time is it right now? I don't know. You should check on your cell phone that you're recording me with. Yeah, well, I have a, another one around here somewhere. It's certainly not past 11 o'clock. It doesn't need to be past 11 o'clock. You don't know your legislation. Well, I know you're allowed to park on the street. And okay. usually you're allowed to park on any street in Kelowna for 48 hours. No, that's not true. Well, maybe not right at this very spot, but uh, I'm pretty sure. Okay. At this, it's not 11 o'clock so yet, I'm is it? So allow you 10 minutes to move your vehicle, otherwise it's going to be towed. So you, and you also need to have a front plate visible and mounted okay. on the bumper of your vehicle. I, I'm not your enemy. You're not my enemy. No, why okay. are you, why no are you being a you, enemy right this now? This is a motor vehicle in Canada, in British Columbia, and it needs to have a front plate mounted in order to comply with ICBC legislation. Okay, well there should be a front plate, so I'll go check on that when I get going. There's no front plate. I'm, I'm not camping here, it's the day. I was just it's here in the... It's not day, it's dark. It gets dark in the winter at like 4 o'clock, and now 5 probably. What time is it now? I don't know, I was just on the phone. Okay. Why don't you please tell me what time it is? It's 8.09 p.m. It's 8.09 p.m. And, and I'm like, you know, I'm allowed to park here. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm minding my own business. I was on a phone call when he knocked on the door. And so I would, I just want, I don't know, it got obviously agitated, as you can imagine. I'm obviously anxiety from this, and like anybody, and I don't know what his issue is and why he was so aggressive at me. Um... And demanding that I come outside and he's like I'll give you my badge number if I come outside and I'm like yeah that sounds that sounds logical Correct. so why can't I be here at 809 uh, mister over there why are you talking to him I'm talking to you oh because you're not actually talking to me you're just 
being negative towards so me. So I'm going to start a timer so that we can all be lawful. So if you like, you can uh, so, record this on your So, because you work for the city over there, why am I not allowed parking here? here? Put that in your camera. So you have a 10 minute yeah. timer. What's your name? My name. What's will your be badge number? To you when you provide me What's your, your name and badge number? number? My name's available to you out here. What's your name and badge number? Did you not hear what I just said to you? I said, I'm asking you the question. Okay, What's that's your fine. name and badge number, please? Okay, you you failed to comply with me, so I'm failing to comply with you until you meet me out here. I've done nothing illegal. I'm parked that's on not true. public streets. That's not true. You have done something illegal. What have I done illegal? I've already explained it to you. No. Um, so. Have you sp sorry to interrupt. Have you spoken to bylaws? The bylaw guys, well, they have security on their badges. Um, they're, they're saying. You know, bylaw security. I think it's the same. I'm not sure. No, it's not. We do have. Uh, we oh, have okay. Security. So it's different then. We have security here, bylaw, and RCMP. So I don't know if I've talked to a direct bylaw guy or not. Okay. Um, because they always had security in their badge. So he, one guy, I'm like, show me this rule. He's saying because I'm in a domicile. Hello. Let's try to have a nice civil conversation yes. here. Can I start with your ID, please? No, you cannot. Are you failing to produce ID? I have no, you don't have reasonable ground to ask me for ID. I do, sir. You're here after 9 p.m., which is taking up a boat. So I need your ID so I can write you the ticket under the traffic well, bylaw that I warned you about. You're going to do what you think is necessary, okay? I am fearing for my life, and I have called, I, I fear what this person is, this, this guy over there. And so I've called the RCMP, and I'm okay. waiting for um, the captain, uh, the watch commander to call me back. Okay. So well, in the meantime, can I do my job, please? You you could I mean your job is your job dude you can so do whatever I need you do. ID. Okay, you're not getting my ID. Okay? I'm not giving you my ID. You do not have probable grounds I or do. or lawful grounds to get my ID. Sir, you're taking up a boat on a city street. I'm taking up a boat. PM. Oh my god. Oh, run for the hills, okay. dude. Whatever. It's a ticketable offense under the traffic bylaw. Okay, that's and your that's your prerogative. To, in order to do that, I need your ID. Okay. I'm And if you're failing to produce your ID, show me the traffic ordinance in the book. Send me the traffic ordinance because I don't, I don't have to send you anything, I well, sir. Well, and I don't have to give you my name, the sir. The traffic bylaw is very clear. Section 4.1.2W. Uh, I'll grab a flashlight. Okay. Um, Take up a boat. Where's a flashlight? Here, we'll get a flashlight for you. Four point one point two W. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it's, I can't find oh, so, exactly where it is. Okay, I'm reading four point. Sorry, four point what? One point two W. Four point. Right okay, yeah, it's just up higher. Four point one two. Oh, I see. A M O O P. Can you just pass me the book? I'm no, not, I can't. I'm not going to steal is it. Like right in here. Oh my God. Okay. N O no W's R F. I don't see no W, sorry. I don't see a W. You know, I'm in a truck, right? Truck camper. Um, that you can't be here past nine, but he knocked on the door at 7.51. And I'm like, well, why is the RCMP here? Because the bylaw didn't, wasn't able to get a hold of you. And I'm like, I've been in here the whole time with my Christmas lights. There's no, no bylaw knocked on the door. Okay. Um, so that's make-believe. So I'm getting really suspicious what's going on. So I feel like that Officer Herbs or Ebes is actually targeted harassment at me because I was here at the rally and have this, my Canadian flags. We can only speculate. I feel like I'm being harassed and I certainly feel threatened by him and I was certainly not getting outside until, you know, I had some, some peop, somebody like uh, a mediator like such as yourself. So all I, I haven't done anything wrong. All I want to do is go home and, but I'm not going to let this tow truck here just take me away. I haven't done anything. I'm allowed to be here. Domicile, this is not a domicile. I don't live here. This is my truck camper. I was just here today. So um, can you help you alleviate need, this? Sure, the only rule, and I'll just tell you, I'm not here to tell you whether or not we're... Mm -hmm. That's the truck over there. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. That's their beep, backup beeper. That sounds like um, The only rule is that a person is not allowed to camp overnight in a trailer on, or in a, sorry, in a vehicle. Yeah, on like, city property. Essentially, like, I think that's maybe what they were trying to avoid you doing. I know, but that doesn't. It's seven fifty-one. He knocked on the door with an officer, and very. I mean, it's on film. I filmed it to protect myself, and um, I will review that later, of course. And it's, it's, this doesn't make sense. What's going well, on here? The whole area is, is covered. You're obviously in front of city hall, well, so the whole area yeah, is, is good very point. well filmed. Uh, I never even thought about that. Yeah, um, so anything you missed, I'm sure, so, is captured by city so hall. So he knocked on the door at seven fifty-one. 
demanded my ID, would not tell me who he is unless I came outside. So I was fearing like whether he's a cop or not, is impersonator. So that's why I initially called you guys, but then he pulled up in an RCMP. So I'm like, okay, he has a, a number. Mm -hmm. um, so that you know helped obviously. I was, and then I still felt threatened. And and then of course he's a, he's just threatening me with, I'm gonna get the tow truck on you. I'm gonna give you tickets for this and that. And I feel like as soon as I go outside, he's, he's something dishonest would happen. Okay. Um, so can you help alleviate this? I just That's what I, I'm here to do. Um, I just want to go home at some point. I'm I never planned to camp here. Um, where's home, by the way, Kelowna? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it's my desire to see you on your way. Yeah, I know. This is a waste of. It's a, my desire to see you in your driver's seat and on the way as quick as we can possibly make that mm -hmm. happen. Okay? I would really appreciate um, that. Let me see what business he has that needs to be tidied up from his end of things. Mm -hmm. And if he has any tickets or if he has enforcement or parking tickets or things like that that he wants to discuss with you, is it okay if he comes over and has that conversation with me here to explain what his ideas or do you want me in the middle of this I um i don't want to talk to him alone because we haven't got anywhere like that so if you would like to have a three-way conversation that that's will... what i offered I'll, yeah. I'll stay here yeah yeah so can, you can bring him can over explain to you and you can explain and we'll do it back and forth okay and we um, can uh, alleviate this yeah we can alleviate the scenario and then get me on my way and uh and safe and sound and then uh, okay and just not... hang out for one sec i'm just gonna go chat with him i'll be right back okay okay yeah see this is working perfectly. Holy smokes. Yeah, see, Hull seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, the Hull seems reasonable, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just try to work something out and then everybody goes on their way and that'll be the end of it, right? Holy crap, this is nuts, huh? Yeah, Kelowna is definitely becoming more of a military state. Yeah, so he just confirmed, like, it's just camping. You're allowed to park here. They're just yeah. they're making everything up. This is insane, dude. Yeah, so this whole thing is a misunderstanding. He probably came over just with it in his head that you were camping there without even... But it's 750. You, know, you, know, you, you know when you get something stuck in your head type of thing? That's probably what happened. You know, or, no, it's great. Well, I think no, Matt. He, he is... Anyways, he was agitated. He was coming at me, yeah. Yeah, he could be in that. He could be a pro government guy. Who knows, right? Could be a company man. You don't know. Well, Karen's calling me. Or he's yeah. having a bad day. Yeah, something insane in the membrane. Yeah, but yeah, I know. It sounds like things are going. Just work something out and find, clarify what the actual rules are, and then everybody goes home on their way. Okay. Should I answer Karen, or just I should probably stay on the phone with you? I'll text her. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Yeah. So what are they doing? Are they chatting out there? Yeah, and he's telling them about he's trying to give me all these tickets and stuff. Yeah, so they're trying to work something out. I bet the cops just like, uh, you know, let's just put this to bed. It's hopefully what he's doing, right? So crazy, so crazy. I'm watching that Yellowstone show. <laughs> Yellowstone, yeah. yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's good what is with this stupid thing? Hey, you know there's a new scene on Larry David out there. Okay, here I, I gotta, I gotta talk with these guys. Okay. Hi, Marcel. So like I said, he'll explain to you his side of the business that's gone on here, and I'm here with you, so I'll mediate any conversation and make sure that things are just peaceful and and uh, somewhat okay. reasonable between you. All right? Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. So do you have your photo ID that I can see? Um, you don't have probable reason for my photo ID, sir. I do. I've explained that to you. I'm going to be serving you tickets under the Motor Vehicle Act as well as the Motor Vehicle Regulations of British Columbia and so I have a lawful authority to do that and it's actually an offense not to provide the license in hand when requested by a peace officer. I'm not, I'm not in my vehicle driving so um, you have no probable cause to ask for my ID sir. So we certainly disagree on that point. Okay. I have photographic and video evidence for my case. That I'm you driving? Have, I'm not driving. So. No, you're occupying a vehicle. 
It's a different offense. Now, if you want to give me a ticket... Well, I'm giving you the ticket either way. So if you want to give me the ticket for front plate, that's fine. Um, oh, no, it's not just for that. You also require a red flag and then you refuse to provide the ID in hand. So there's three offenses. Further to that, you owe the tow truck driver money now. So you're not free to go until you've satisfied the tow truck obligation, right? And then you have the bylaw ticket on your front windshield, sir. So all of this was explained okay, to you. Okay, so the bylaw ticket's on the window, that's fine. Correct. I can always dispute that. Okay. Um, this front plate ticket, well, whether you can give it to me if I'm driving a vehicle. Right now, this vehicle is just on the side of the road. It's on a highway in British Columbia, by it's, the definition it, it's of It's in the, the city of Kelowna, sure. And that's um, not what I so, so you can do what you want to do. Um, I and I don't know whether it's legit or not. Um, obviously, my question is, why did you knock on my door at 7.51 p.m.? Uh, okay. What is your question in regards to that? I had a file. I'm attending a file. Why? You were spoken to repeatedly. By whom? By security. When? All of this is on video. When was I spoken to we're by security? We're not having the same conversation. No, five I'm asking times. you a question. You okay. just you just said I was spoken to by security. So you, sir, are exhausting a lot of resources. No, no, no. Just answer knocking? the question. Don't be like O'Toole. Answer the question. If you don't we'll call answer, me names. We'll answer his questions. Be respectful. We'll answer his questions. Do answer his questions. Be respectful. Okay. What's his question? Yeah, go ahead. Why did you knock on my door at 7.51 and what security or bylaw did you say came and knocked on my door? Because I can tell you there was nobody before you and those two or two security were at the door. That was the first I've seen of anybody and obviously I answered my door. So what bylaw, what are their names, who knocked on the door and why? You, you've collected everyone's names here that's on shift today no, no, no. with respect oh. to this issue. Why did you not? I had a complaint. Okay, from whom? For the fourth time. I the had fourth a time when? What do you mean? Today, that I'm responding. I'm allowed to? to park here and leave and come back and park here. Okay, great. What's what's illegal about that? That's not what we're debating. So okay, the it, story. Simple, I'm going to simplify it. I have a complaint. What's I'm the complaint? To a complaint? What's the complaint? You. It, it's available for you. What is the we're complaint? <laughs> what's the complaint? What's the, but we've already explained this. No, no, I don't know what the complaint is. I don't know why you knocked on my door. You're parked here. You're unwelcome here. Unwelcome? Correct. Were you discriminating against me? I don't understand. Yeah. How am I not welcome here? I am. I am. I live problem, in Kelowna. Sir. We're trying to have dialogue. We're trying to achieve this at the lowest level of intervention. You're acting you like a politician, sir. Please so answer this the is question. Just for your likes on your video. Why? So are you no, no, no. I am. Enjoying? I am not happy about this. Sir. Is very stressful. That's fine, sir. Okay, why? I'm not here to make you happy. What is the complaint? Job. You, if you I've say there's a complaint, you. repeatedly. We're what going is? In circles. No, the complaint is that I've been parked here. I'm allowed to park here. It's not that, that you're I came and went here there four are many times. Many vehicles parked here, sir. Okay, what is the issue? You are in your vehicle. You're occupying your vehicle. You have said multiple times you're in a boat. You're not in a boat. No, you're the and one who calls it a boat. I've never heard that term before. You use that term at 9/11. We have it on camera. So it's fine. You are the one who said a boat. Dispute it how you want. Dispute it how you want. We've got video too. You're not the only one with video. So really, we're going in circles for nothing. So you don't. I don't know why so I'm being. So what would you like to do now, sir? Are you leaving or are we towing? You haven't told me why you knocked on my door. I have. Because I've parked here and I'm allowed to park here as a citizen of Canada and a citizen of Kelowna. So why did you knock on my door? So there are overlapping levels of legislation, okay? There are, there are bylaw offenses of the municipality, then there's provincial legislation, and then there's federal legislation, okay? This, guy's this was explained shit. to you. Just like the fellow on my phone says, you're full of shit, dude. What's the name you on your full phone? Of shit, buddy. What's you're the fellow on your phone's name? What by? What is the complaint? Come on, sorry. So the issue, uh, explain this. So he's been parked yeah, here. So you've been parked here since about ten o'clock this morning. The vehicle has been parked here since about ten o'clock. I've been parked here several times since ten o'clock this morning. Yes, because I went for lunch, obviously. Yeah, but the vehicle's been here. Well, no, no. I moved the vehicle and came back. Okay. So I've been on and off in this spot. Yes. And I literally, I so, mean, I was going to go eventually. I just, I'm not camping here. So I, I want to know why I'm being... I think the issue became that eventually the vehicle has to be moved due to overturn parking. And because it may be occupied, we have an obligation to not tow an occupied vehicle. So the knock on the door is to see if anybody's inside and to make sure that we can have you come out and get in the vehicle and leave or else it's going to be towed. And we obviously don't want to tow an occupied vehicle. Well, that was at 7:52. He knocked on my door, and he didn't. And he still hasn't given us a reason of why he knocked on my door. You can see how this is really I'm just wrong. I just oh. explained to you a reason to knock on the door. 
is to see if the vehicle's occupied before we start. No, the he said he had a file on you. No, he said he, he said he had a file on me and that there was a complaint. So, so what is the complaint, What's officer? The complaint? The that's the complaint. It's, it's that simple. That I've been parked in front of, of that, the, the city hall? That bylaws is in the interest of moving your vehicle because it's been here overturned. Well, then why didn't bylaw knock on the door? Because, you know, bylaw does that. I by, This is a bylaw complaint. So why is the officer knocking on my door before bylaw is? That's, right? That's not the case. That's not how I understand it at all. Security interacted with you. So for, then there was no bylaw. So for, security, that, you were with security and you knocked so on the door. The, the RCMP can enforce municipal bylaws. Just so that you're so, aware. Right. I'm not telling you something. Bylaw and security are two separate things. Okay, not, so not what security. do we what do we do here? Why are you just not so, leave me alone? Sir, just so that we're all on the same page for your video log, it's twenty two fourteen hours. You're saying that you've been here since seven fifty one PM. No, that's, that's when you knocked hours. on the door. That's over three hours. Because I'm waiting I was waiting for okay. for you. The watch command. Okay. Because I felt so, threatened by you, of you course. Felt threatened. Okay. And I so, still at this do. point I think all of us want the same thing. And that's I, I just want to go home and I don't want him to tow me and I don't need tickets for we no reason. We don't want to tow you. We well, you've already received a ticket for overturned parking, I believe, is the yeah, and, at and it, bylaw is fine, yeah. And, bylaw. The, and the he the bylaw could have knocked on the door, obviously, you know. I'm a human, right? I'm a human, of so are you, right. so and, is yeah. him. Everybody's human here. I, I was not causing an issue. I was I was a very good citizen on the side of the road here, not causing any harm to anybody. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Honestly, I do not deserve to have this stress for three hours. So, I, so the question now is, are you sober to drive this vehicle away? I've been sober the whole time. I do not okay. drink. Excellent. Well, you've prevented that process from, from being uh, completed. No, so you are scaring me. No, can you it's have really up to him. Can you have when, him when I, leave and the tow truck? Yeah. If he and the tow truck left, then I would leave on my own terms. What's that? If you, if just, Officer just Herb. One second. So, no, that's great. Um, and that's what we want. We want you to get in and leave. I want to leave on my own accord, yeah. We'll hassle you, we'll see you and, off. We'll and, I, and I don't we'll want him. Drive away and we won't be following you or yes, you yes, I don't want him pulling me over as I soon as I get in the vehicle. As soon as you leave, he will not be stopping you. And you will make it to where you go. I want to go to my house. As long as you're not committing any gross violations. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course yeah. But I, I, yeah, you can understand that I'm concerned that even with your guarantee, the way I've been treated for no reason, I'm a freaking Canadian citizen here. I do not deserve to be treated like this. This is complete harassment and... And I'm trying to figure out exactly how we get you out of here. I know. Okay, can, we, have a few, we have a few hurdles. One, the tow truck's here. His time is now... Being and that's not my fault. That's his fault. No, it's your fault. So You were afforded ample time. How, no, I was waiting was for the watch commander. Uh, he has, he, you have to make payment to the tow operator? I was waiting for the, you, the watch commander, and he yeah. called the tow truck. That's not... I waited for... And he kept telling me to get out, and I'm like, I'm not doing anything until we have another voice mediator here, which is your... Uh, Dr. Hall. I think with him being in the truck portion of the camper, I don't think he has to produce a driver's license. But in, in order for my offenses, he does. And I, I'm not satisfied that he's the registered owner. I don't That's know what happened to you today, dude, okay. but I'm not your problem. As a registered owner, no matter where he is. Now, you can go serve me at my house. What is your address, sir? Well, if Please you don't know... That. No, I'm not going to tell you that either. See, so this Because I don't want to be harassed by you. You're playing a one-way game, sir. No, you're playing a game. No. Can you just please leave and I will go on our day. So he has, he does have enforcement measures he needs to give. Yeah. You, and he wants to. Just, so he can just he write wants it. To give those to you and know who you are. Okay. I don't think that's unreasonable. I don't. Know so who you are. So that we can give you those things. Just you so obviously you know whose vehicle it is. We but, do. But I don't feel comfortable with the way I've been harassed. I feel like this guy is going to harass me yeah, and further want Irby, you want I don't want him showing up at my house I don't so okay, then let's have so it, you let's can put those put you those can, tickets under the window under the window that way well then he's gonna have to s figure out his own problem then I don't know that's his I, problem I'm, I'm satisfied if you serve the ticket do you want to show him your ID you just have to hold it up so I can see who since, you are since, I won't even take it in hand I will look at it I'll be satisfied that I'm talking to Marcel at least then we've met that process We'll hand you the process so that there's no further follow-up from us with respect to this issue. You won't be seeing him again about this problem, and you'll be on your way. Well, I'll be seeing him in court then, obviously. Well, yes, that's... Yep, I'll yeah. be there for that, with all of my evidence. You'll have your process explained to you. You'll have your right to have your... Man, they, they sent that cop to do the important investigations, eh? Yeah, um... 
Yeah, like, this is his big investigation for the night? Like, wow. This is, yeah, he's, that's you, your investigation for the night. Um, um, this, yeah. this is not this appropriate. Is case file? Like, um, I haven't done anything wrong. I don't deserve any tickets or tow. Um, how about Shit. we just have you go about your business? And, and well, the I will. The alternative is that we continue to try and seek you out in order to serve these tickets on you by verifying your identity and giving you the tickets. It's just, I mean, it's and an. I don't think either of us want to have that much work hanging over <laughs> this our heads. Is crazy, yeah? This crazy, right huh? I, I, you know what? I don't know about that. This whole process here. Um, That's fine. It's explained on the document. I'm not driving the vehicle. The vehicle is parked legally you on the road. Control of a motor the vehicle, vehicle the vehicle obviously is going to do what the vehicle is doing. Um, I can't control I'll that. I'll walk over. And I don't. Yes. Perhaps the one is satisfied. Well, this is turning into a great pathetic charade here. Like, what is going on here? Can't everybody just go on their way? Like, yeah. Can everyone just go on their way? Like, what the like, hell is going on here? Like, I deserve, I deserve to go free from this harassment. I think that's appropriate. Just like this, okay, everyone, everybody just everyone just go on their way. I can't tell you enough how much I want you just to go. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> like, what is wrong with this herbs cop? I don't know what's wrong with this herbs cop. This is just going out of hand. And this whole in a tough spot because he wants to stand behind his guy, but he knows how stupid Plus, he is. Yeah, I know. He knows he's freaking exactly. Let's talk over here outside. Right? He's in here. a sticky spot, right? He probably just is like, this is so fucking stupid, you know? Do you guys think this is pretty stupid too, I hope, right? This is... You know, hey guys over there, I'm a human, you know? This is not appropriate, you know? Like, this is nuts, this herb guy. Hey, it's trivial, this whole thing. You, you can't camp here overnight. Uh, yeah. That's all I wanted. Oh, so are you... Because you're the bylaw, right? Or security, I don't know. We're, but we're, yeah. We're security for the city of Kelowna. Then how come you didn't just knock on the door earlier? Because I don't feel comfortable arguing with people. Yeah, me neither. I don't like it either, dude. It's terrible. I know. But I mean, you could... have more people with me assisting me you know, than not. Oh yeah, but I mean, we wouldn't. I mean, yeah, we didn't need to argue. You could have just been like, "Hey, buddy, you can't camp here." And I'm like, "No, I know it's 7:50. I wasn't planning to camp here. Maybe at 11 o'clock, then that conversation would have been appropriate." But I know, and you don't know this guy's showing up. I understand, dude. We don't know this this kid, whoever this herb is. This is so scary. It's nuts. He's just doing his job. So this is not his job. He should be out doing something well, real. I, I can't speak to that. No, I know. Okay, anyways, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hassle you guys. I'm, you okay, can just he's imagine. Got his own laws he wants to enforce. Yeah, people. I know. That's his issue, not mine. Like crazy mandates and stupid shit, right? Ugh. Three hours of freaking anxiety. Today was my favorite day in Kelowna ever, too, until this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, today was awesome. What do you think it per hour it costs to run an RCMP officer in a unit? Like, per hour? Yeah. Well, and then, you know, there's I mean, three I mean, security here and a bylaw. Like, there's a lot no, of money being spent. This is probably costing $1,000 an hour what you're doing right now. Thousand bucks an hour, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, it's probably costing the taxpayer $1,000 an hour. You've got, what, two, or, two RCMP officers. A bylaw and, a and two security. Yeah, a bylaw and a security and a tow truck driver. And his unit's 150 bucks an hour, right? Yeah. So, holy shit, like, shit's adding up here. Like, this is getting expensive. This is getting really expensive, I know. <laughs> like no wonder we're in such so much federal debt, provincial debt, municipal debt. Man. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. I'm a freaking well, human just, being. This is trivial. I don't know. Something this is trivial. This is very trivial. I know. How can you turn this guy so he just sees things in a slightly different perspective? I know. How do we get Irv? How do you? How do you get? A psychopath a off your back? You no, know, just just someone to change their perspective a little bit. That's all it is. They're talking. He's talk. He's trying to convince them to leave. Just he's trying to convince them. And then, dude, I need somebody else to almost drive my vehicle away. Fuck. Or, no, he'll be fine. He'll leave you alone. Dude, he's gonna stalk me for all I know. What if I just move the vehicle? Well, he's, gonna be a, he's gonna be another co constable. Uh, what the hell was the guy's name? I did. I think the I did. One cop they used to get sorry. Time. Yeah, yeah. I'm recording all this, so we don't need to talk about that. But <laughs> yeah, the the night rider, right? The night rider. <laughs> Yeah. No, he was a cool guy. Remember, I met him and gave him a poster later. With a Z, right? Yeah, you know? he, well, he wants your perspective changes. <laughs> you know, I'll kind of say, it just, he's a perspective change. He's dug in right now. He's, for him, it's a matter of principle. As a well. Well, how can anybody say no to me? That's what he's thinking, right? 
Totally. So for him, it's all pride. And for me, it's, it's a lot. It's, 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 it's a matter of principle. You're in the right here. He's just acting out of pride. Like, I'm a cop. How dare you say no? Right? That's what this is about for him. And for you, it's, you know, I am perfectly within my rights to stay here. I'll leave here when I damn well please. You know? Yeah. That's all this is. It's come down to you. Dude, pride how do principle. He's, this is... I feel like I'm the pastor, you know, who got arrested on the street there, right? Yeah. Well, not quite. Yeah, they were really going... Yeah, that guy, he's he's still kicking it. He's still out there helping people and doing his thing. So he's a brave guy. No, he got arrested again, dude, At the, when he was supporting oh, the convoy. Yeah, he, he gets arrested. Oh, he's a brave guy. No, I mean, he just got arrested like a day or two ago. To support yeah, the convoy. Yeah, I know. He was uh, he was out at that support thing, and then they came and grabbed him or something. Yeah, and of course, warrant. and then... And the, he's like, what is this for? And they're like, oh, we have a warrant for you. He's like, what? No, no, that was a month ago. Was, that was like three weeks ago. No, another time. I, I had people commenting on my YouTube saying, oh my God, this guy's been arrested again today. We need to help him. And he was just at the supporting the convoy in whatever area of Alberta. Because he just, yeah, he, he disappeared after the last arrest that it was on film, right? And he's like, you're gonna, you're gonna treat me a lot, like, um, you're gonna do it, you're gonna be a Nazi, you're gonna do it Nazi, arrest me Nazi style, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's pretty sad. Oh, man. Especially Alberta, too. Alberta's like, you know, I thought Alberta was gonna end up being like Florida, like the last, you know, God's country, safe haven, right? And it was for a while, but then Kenny, he, he just folded like a cheap suit, you know? Yeah, I don't think yeah, exactly. I wish I had a freaking lawyer on the phone of Canada. Like, I got the friends in the States and stuff, but, like, who's a Canadian lawyer to have on the phone in it? Well, but, yeah, but they're expensive. No, no, you need a buddy. You need a buddy. Yeah, which I'm sure you can get a lawyer up right now. He's going to be charging you for the hour. Even if you're on the phone for five minutes, he's charging you for an hour. Hopefully Hulk can just diffuse this whole situation. I'm sure that's all he wants, right? Diffuse. I, I, post, I posted the first video on my Telegram and everyone's asking me how I'm doing and I'm so on. Watch Commander is trying to diffuse off um, Eeb. Oh, well, how do you spell his name? Eeb or whatever? E. Herbs? Herbs or Eebs? Or I, I, can't, I don't know how to look and talk at the same time. But. Um, yeah. I think it was like E R B S. I think is what it was. Herbs. E R B S. I think. There's, and then you got. Is it Corporal Hall? Yeah. Corporal. Yeah. Corporal. Yeah. Can, in Canada, I don't ever understood how the like the rankings in Canada work. So I think it's different in the states. In the states, they have like the sergeant, lieutenant, whatever. Here, it's a little different. They have like. Marcel. Marcel, here's Officer, your ticket. Officer Ebes. Okay, well. There you go. That's yours. Thank so you for taking it. The, the only, he's going to go. The only thing you have to deal with is the tow truck. So he's here and he's hooked up to your vehicle. Yeah. And it's, it's very unfair, but I understand, yeah. I know, but this is now he's in a place where he's not going to unhook without getting I, I told the I told the tow truck driver, don't bother, dude. And he's like, it's just my job. I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm like, dude. So I tried to explain to that tow truck driver. So maybe I can come to an understanding with him and, you know, maybe um, help him, you know, like, you know. I don't like giving away cash. It's tough times these days. I, you know, I'm out of work because of the, the. At this point, if you want to come out and talk to him, I promise you that you will not be. Constable Herbs has done his business with you. He's not going to be speaking to you or having an interaction with you. Perfect. Perfect. I am not going to be taking any enforcement for anything that's gone on up to this. Like point. maybe I can give the tow truck driver like 50 bucks. You and... talk to him. If you want to come out and have a conversation, I, I, mean, I promise you, you're yeah, not going to be yeah, arrested, to hassled, identified. I'm not going to do anything to you other than just stand by and engage in the yeah. conversation. Can we just? I mean, it's obviously cold and be really quick if I. I just talk to the tow truck driver right here like if you just if you bring him over or ask him to come here and i'll just i'll see if he'll take 50 bucks at some point though you have to get out of your truck no I mean, you yeah. gotta drive away no i know but um I, and i've come down i I've, just don't want to deal with um the tow truck driver just doing something inappropriate holding me hostage as soon as i get out of the vehicle and saying well i'm towing I'm, you I'm right here nobody's holding you hostage. no 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 the, the the tow truck guy and same like unreasonable being unreasonable with me Right, um, with the tow truck driver. Again, I did nothing wrong. You know that from 7:51 um, p.m. Um, so, like, I just want the tow truck driver unhook. And um, like, I honestly, as a human, I don't, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't owe him anything. But I will alleviate the situation. I am conscious of of people. And um, so, if we just have him come over here, and I'll give him 
I'll talk to him real quick, and uh, maybe I can alleviate this situation real quickly with him. Absolutely. And um, and say? maybe you know, I mean, he hasn't done too much. Um, you know, I know he's waiting but around. It's going to be between you and him, and yeah. I, I'm not going to have a final say. In and it, in absolutely, and I understand that. I just and I again, I appreciate, I appreciate you. Okay, thank you for coming. Um, <sighs> thank you. I, I'm, I'm just yeah, ask him to come over, and I'll. Oh, I'll situate this. Yeah, I think I think they like. I think it's usually seventy-five bucks. They want. So you can get it down to fifty. Yeah. So, um, so sir, um, I hope you understand the situation that I was in. I did not nothing wrong. Um, and I just I don't. I want to come to an understanding with you. That we're both happy. I mean, I'm. I've been have three hours of this agitation. Um, can I just give you fifty bucks and you'd be happy? And um, and I mean, I'm out fifty bucks, yeah. but um, because you got to realize. That's a two hundred thousand dollar truck. Okay. Okay, and this is uh, an eighty thousand dollar truck. Yes. Let I'm... me finish. I get paid by the job, so I bill out what that truck goes out for, as it's appropriate. The re the rates for this truck require it to go out at one hundred and twenty nine sixty seven to hook up. Then. I've been sitting in my truck for, if I was to look at my thing, probably 45 minutes. And I've been Rounds sitting here three hour, hours dealing with it. Which is 129.67. Yeah. And I didn't, I told you and not to hook up. And then there's fuel surcharge and tax. Mm, okay, so what is, so. So your bill is currently almost $330. Okay, and I'm gonna. If you refuse to pay, you're not paying for services. I then can take the vehicle because all of this is on you, not them. I was called by them to tow your vehicle in the wrong and i told you not to hook not up not in the so, wrong so no they, he was in the contracted to do what I, they you know, and he was no me unacceptable to hook up. and he was in the wrong so i was told you, to hook up so i have to no, listen do, to the do, rcmp so much business that from is the what my yeah. contract yeah, shouldn't even be a big deal yeah, do you own that truck either get paid mm -hmm. well i'm not or paying has to get impounded no. And then that's if not that's appropriate. The case, then they have to step in because you're refusing to pay the outstanding bill. Sir, this is not appropriate. That's not my problem. It's, my problem it is, is your to problem. do my job. And my I problem is to live. My job. He's he's to, one, you're the. I told you not to hook up. That's your fault, dude. No, I have to hook up when they tell me. Well, you're under to contract. Job, so then you're. I have to do what. You know. RCMP so you work for Mario, and yeah. you're under contract, and you contract with the RCMP yeah. as being their main tow thing. So yeah. you can they take it up with the, the RCMP. So you should take it nope. up with the RCMP. Because when I was sent down here, I was told it was at owner's expense. No. Yo, and so when what? I parked here, it's that city parking. Owner expense. Okay. That's the problem. If you're the owner, you okay. have to pay the bill. Okay. If so you're, you're not the owner, then you need to vacate, no. and I will tow the truck. You're not so being appropriate. No. You, so you can stay there all night long. So yeah. you know, maybe I'll just my maybe my because that's that's totally inappropriate. Um, and he's not being playing any ball. And I asked him. Out the window, dude. Well, get, get call that go, call that over there and be like, I guess we're gonna be dug in some more now. So, like, no, I'm not. and I'm, like, you know, I'm talking to an advisor here as well, and so like, um, essentially, it's like, yeah, I'm not allowed camping overnight. Camping is sleeping, right? Um, so, I'm gonna have to just wait this guy out. And um, the problem is you're now in a civil agreement with him. Okay. And the longer you wait, the longer it's going to continue to accrue charges on your truck to the point that he can put a lien against your vehicle. So three hundred dollars is not reasonable. Five hundred dollars is not reasonable though. So they have a rate that they bill with. I know, but I didn't call him, and and it was an inappropriate call, and and it's not my responsibility. And, and, Human to human, you can understand yeah, they, them. They cried wolf. They cried yeah. wolf. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> this is a very yeah, weird situation. I, right. I was. <sighs> so I mean, I made a, a legitimate offer for him, fifty bucks in his pocket. I told him, don't put, hook up to me. You know, I'm in the vehicle. I'm not leaving. He's the. So if the tow truck driver wants to sit around and, and send me to small claims court and we'll have all this go to evidence, you know, that would be yeah, his yeah. solution. Um, good luck this with that. This is between, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So the RCMP was in wrong. He should take it up with that RCMP officer and have him fit the bill, I'd think. Yeah, this is some passive aggressive shit. He's just trying to screw you.
without, you know, like Yeah, very passive aggressive. Yeah, that's what this is. This is just a fuck you to you, is what this is from him. And you're not going to put up with that, no. Mario, Mario's and... Mario is a huge freaking business with a contract. It's like, oh my god, it's not yeah, that guy. Con- they don't get paid per load. Yeah, they got a contract. Oh, and like, he already get in and paid like a salary from the cops. Like, who knows it? And he just gave me a ticket they, they for. He gave me a ticket for um, fail, fail roadside front plate, no red flag. What does that even mean? No red flag. 109 and 109. He gave me a 220 dollar ticket. $218 ticket. What is no red flag? What does that even mean? Oh my god, it's the Canadian flag! That's because I have the Canada flag on there! No red flag? No red flag? No red flag? <laughs> what does that even mean? Man? That's hilarious. That's a new one. That's an impressive one right there. And they, they have it going to some guy named Duncan. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> You should call Rebel News about this. I bet you they would fight this ticket. Oh, for you're, you. yeah, yeah, you're right. I, sh- I have all the videos. See, totally see it be like, I got a ticket for having the Canadian flag on. I bet you that would drive Oh my crazy. god. This is huge, dude. A yeah, ticket for the freaking flag. flag. How can you get a ticket for the flag? Like, that's, I, I don't know how the hell that works. Oh, I don't know. This is insane. I've heard of that. That's new. Insane. It's, it's almost as if he was just making it up as he's going along. You know? Well, he, yeah, absolutely. No red flag. What the hell? I don't even know what that means. No, no red flag. You're not. A, it's a white and red. It's our country. No red flag. Is your bike in the back? Yeah. Like even if he picked up the front, the rear would drag along the whole way. It, none of it makes any sense. I told him too. And the bike's on the back. This is untowable. That's the truck weighs freaking a lot and. <laughs> Yeah, he could tow me, but you know he'd have to disconnect the drive shaft. It's all, it's you know, it's rear wheel drive. He has to drag it on the rear. It's insane, dude. The tow truck driver is a freaking idiot, man. What an oh, idiot! Oh, I know, I know. This is he, he's just. I know how he. I pulled that shit too. You know, all of a sudden you get a swollen head over some bullshit, and then you start pulling the. I can screw you because I can. Shit, I've done that too. I know exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I've kind of gotten over that. No, like, no feel for you. Officer Just Eve hasn't even left. He hasn't setup. left yet or anything. No, you, you learn to overcome that stupidity, right? It's like the person who gets. It's like the, you know when you give a kid the hall manager badge and he acts like a total idiot. Like he, he takes it to his head the thing, and he abuses the power. That's kind of what's happening here. <laughs> He's the hall manager. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hall monitor. Know, right? Their their head gets full and they think that they have more power than you know they abuse it. Oh, so crazy. That's what this guy's doing. He's just, oh, da 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 I've been sitting here 200,000 miles. Well, it's not his fucking truck. What the fuck does he care? Yeah. If he wasn't, no, I know it, what these guys do. They just sit there in their trucks and idle and wait for a call. That's all they do. Like, it I know. Matter. It doesn't matter. He didn't have another call anyways. Yeah. If he had another call, he'd leave and go get that call. Well, he sh- yeah, he should. That's what he should be doing is focusing his attention to make some money. And I don't, red flags on the back. I haven't driven the vehicle. You could put like a flag in your vehicle and not drive with it still. I can take him off when I leave, you know what I mean? I think he's talking about because of the bike hangs off the back. Oh, oh yeah, well that would have, yeah. No, but I haven't driven yet. No, no dude, the Canadian flag, the Canadian, the Canadian flag is normally hanging off the bike. So, it, I haven't moved yet, so the ticket is invalid. Yeah, I know, it's not like you're driving on the road. Oh man, this is so stupid. I was just sitting here minding my business, now I got the... These fucking idiots okay. are just ruining the whole fucking night. Yeah, so an, an SUV RCMP just left. I don't know if that was Hall. I don't know. Because the other guy's still here, the scary guy. Eve herbed. Herbed. I hope he doesn't talk to me. And there's more bylaw here still. They're all figuring it out. Jesus Christ, so you might end up just having to sleep there all night because they can't tow it as long as you have it. The bylaw will give you tickets for camping there overnight. Yeah, that's you fine. Have to, wait, wait this bastard out if you have to because he cannot move you. Like, no, I gotta wait off. till he's off shift, dude. I gotta wait it out. Yeah, seriously, wait him out. They, they, they work from 7 till 7, I'm pretty sure, these guys. Well, so can you... At 7 in the morning. Is there somebody to phone on Verify that? Uh, when their shifts are? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's 7. That's pretty much when everybody shifts out. And that cop will be done at 7-2, by the way.